We're just five days away from a rare celestial event, a total eclipse of the sun. On Monday, more than 31 million people from Texas all the way up to Maine will be in the prime location to experience this suntastic event. Even if you're outside of the path of totality, you will still see a partial eclipse where the moon will look like it's taking a bite out of the sun. And joining us this morning, Kristen Weaver, NASA's deputy coordinator of the Globe Observer Project. It's a mouthful. Good morning. <laughs> Thanks for being with us. We do appreciate your time this early 623 in the morning. So listen, this, this eclipse, <laughs> it, it's amazing viewing event here. We're not in the path of totality here in Florida. So what can our viewers expect to see, weather permitting, obviously? Yeah, and what you'll see is, as, as was described earlier, that sort of the, the moon coming across between the sun and blocking the sun, and you'll gradually see sort of a bite getting, take, getting taken out of the sun uh, as the moon comes in between, and then you'll eventually there see about half of the sun blocked by the moon, but you won't unfortunately see totality where you are. So, Kristen, people across the U.S., we saw a solar eclipse back in 2017. Mm -hmm. I remember this. I watched yep. it. It was really cool. So how is this solar eclipse this time different? Yeah, so the path for this one is a little bit wider. There's over 31 million people that are actually directly in the path of totality. So more people can just step out their door and see the uh, see the eclipse and see totality directly. Uh, and the other thing that, that's really interesting is that we're actually approaching a solar maximum. So for those who get to see totality or by watching the NASA broadcast, you may see some more some more swirls and some more interest in the corona during the, the, those few moments of totality than we did in 2017. Very cool. The total solar eclipse is, is an uh, only time that, you know, nerds like us on the ground can actually take this in and, and see it and enjoy it with our own eyes. But what about you scientists? What are you guys looking for? Well, so my project specifically, I'm in, I'm in Earth science. So we're actually looking at the Earth's effect, or the, sorry, the sun's effect on the Earth. So we're actually interested if, in those clouds and what is the effect of the eclipse on the clouds. So with the Globe Observer app, you can actually take observations, whether it's cloudy or clear, of the air temperature and the clouds you're observing during the, uh, the eclipse. And there's a lot of scientists looking at the corona. This is a, a special opportunity to see more of the corona than we can with coronagraphs oh, wow. and special instruments. So those are some of the things we're looking for. What would you say to someone here in Florida who wants to step outside, take a look at the eclipse? I know they need eclipse glasses, but what would you tell them uh, to do t in order to really get to see the most of this, of this you can here in Florida? Well, I think especially there to pay attention to all of your senses because you will feel the temperature drop um, and you can you can observe the animal behavior around you, see if you notice any changes. So make it a multi-sensory experience. And then maybe for totality, tune into the NASA broadcast at go.nasa.gov eclipse 2020, uh, eclipse 24, 2024 so that you can actually see uh, the totality, at least on video. So fun of you to be with us. Kristen Weaver from NASA. Thank you very much.